Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to upgrade the Dromeda Ominous. And in this video, I will be taking the motors that are stock that come in here. I will be taking them out and putting new upgraded ones in. Because the motors on here, they're a little bit underpowered and I'd like to give this a lot more power. Here. And what you need to put these in right now, you need a pair of fine tweezers for soldering. A screwdriver, this is a JJRCH8C screwdriver. It works pretty well for these little screws. A pair of um, uh, pliers. And you're going to need a soldering iron and some solder. Okay, so let's open this up. Use these. And Micromotor Warehouse is in the U.S. So I got these really quickly from them. So that's nice. You don't have to wait three weeks from China. Okay, let's see what we got. As you can see here, very nice presentation. You can see Micromotor. I got a little card. There are the four motors. Look nice. Let's open this up. Really thick plastic bag. Nice quality. Got their little business card here. Seller information. If you want any of this, let me know. I'll put a link to buy these down in the description. Let's take the motors out. There we go. They look really nice. Okay, now that we have these out, what you're want, gonna want to do next is remove, or no, you don't have to remove the props. These screws here, 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 here. And these screws, you have to take these panels out to access the wires and circuit board to get the new motors in. So I'll do one arm and then I'll speed the rest of them up on a time lapse. I'll show you here, I'll take this screw out. Make sure you um, keep these screws in a place where you're not going to lose them. Because they're quite, they're somewhat small and you don't want to lose them and then have to try and find replacements. That could be hard. Please just pull it out. Oops, not stuck to my motors. As you can see, the two screws, there are two different kinds, and they are different. The small one goes in the outside for the motors, and the longer one goes inside for the inner part. Sorry about that, these just pull right off here. And then you can, once you remove all these screws, you can just pull this plate right off. And then the LED panel arm should just come off. Okay, now I'll speed it up in time lapse and do the other four. Okay, now that I'm done with that, you can see, taking all the panels off, and now the motors, you can just pull right out of their little casing there. We don't need to do that yet. You can see the four LED panels, four little rubber casings for the motors for the landing feet. That, new motors I'm going to put in, and all these screws. There's four of each. So, now let's go down, and I'll show you how to take these out, unsolder these, and put these new put these new ones in so let's go check it out okay now we're on to soldering what you're going to need for this step is obviously your quadcopter your drama ominous the motors that you bought a little thing of solder so you can um, make the connections if there's not enough on them fine tipped screwdriver again I use a little razor blade and a cloth to clean my soldering iron off and the solder iron and you have to make sure the tip is clean and not dirty or else it won't um, heat up the connections and it won't melt the solder. So first what you want to do is you want to pull out move that quick so I can show you. Move these off. Don't need them right now. You're going to want to pull out the motor that you want to start with and you want to get one of them. See the counterclockwise or I'm not sure about the white and black wires and the white top. You can see there's black tops and white tops. And then you're going to want to pull this out and get your tweezers so you can pinch the wires and pull them gently as you apply heat to, directly to the solder and melt it and pull them off. So let's do that here. Should melt right off. My solder's not, soldering iron's not the best. I got it really cheap off eBay. Oh, there's one. But it does the job. There's two. Okay, there you see. There's one motor soldered off. 
So now let's do the rest of the 400 time lapse. Okay, now that I'm all done with that, you can see I've removed all of these stock motors. And you'll see that when they solder to the board, they use just the plain wires. But the motors that come on the motors I've got, they are geared for the alias, so they use the plugs. And the plugs do not fit the same ones as the ominous, so we're going to have to cut these plugs right off. So, I'm going to use this razor blade here. I'm just going to cut these plugs right off. Just pinch them down against the table. There we go. You can see there. Just cut that right off. And, put, and I put the motors in the housings right now just so I can remember which ones they go in. You can see here. Cut that plug off. Put that back. Next one. go and the last one now the um, pinion gears on the new motors are plastic and the old ones are metal but that shouldn't make too much of a difference so now what I'm gonna want to do is take the motors back out and strip the ends of the wires so I can solder them to the board so I'm gonna use my razor blade again and just strip off a little bit of plastic Let's do a time lapse here. Okay, now that I have stripped all of the ends of the wires with razor blade, it'd be easier to use a wire stripper, but this is what I have, so I used it. Now I'll solder these back in. Remember that the white and or the white and red wires are positive. So, let's solder these in. Okay, sorry about that. I had to clean my soldering iron. Okay, so let's get back into it. I'll get this first one, then I'll time-lapse the rest. Solder doesn't want to melt. Like I said, my, um, my soldering iron is really, really low quality. But, it gets the job done. There we go. First one in. Now let's go to the time lapse. Okay, there we go. I got all the motors soldered back into the board, and I found it a bit easier to just remove the circuit board for right now. So now I'll take you back up and start the reassemble. Let's go check it out. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to take your fine point tweezers, and you're going to want to get the motors lined up so that the wires, when they both come out, see the positive is on this side, the negative is on this side. They have to go down straight in a line because of the the motor covers that shaft alongside the the wires have to go down through there. So what you're gonna want to do is push it down and down through all the holes and get it into the cracks for, for in, into along the arm. So then you can reinsert the LED arm. So let's do that. Okay, now that I'm done with that, you can see I pushed the motors down into the arms, and on the two front ones, the arms are a little bit longer, so the motors have to go a little longer, and these wires were just a little bit short the way they're supposed to go, because they're supposed to go out along here, so I just took them inside the arms, instead of going out around, just went through the shortest way possible, and they should still have enough to, they should still be long enough, just barely to close up, so now I'm going to reinsert the arms and everything else and put it all back together, so let's do that.
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, but um, I realized that the wires that came on the new motors were not quite as long as the total length of these wires. So, what I had to do is, in the back, they fit good. I actually had to ball them up a little. They, you can see, well, you can't really see it, but they fit real nice and good in the back. And I got the cover back on easily. But in the front, I had a lot of trouble. So what I ended up doing was cutting a little slot. Focus it. I cut a little slot in the arm and slots up the motors, the motor pod mounts here, so that the wires could come out because they were too short to get fit through. So let me put the last couple screws in the arms and then I'll be done. It's taken me quite a while because I had to figure out how to get those motors to go through there. The screw keeps getting stuck on the magnet. Well, the screws don't really matter. Okay, there you have it. That's how you upgrade your Dromeda Ominous motors. So, um, please leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the um, running videos of these. And I'm also, because these are use more power and are faster, I'm getting a bigger battery for this, a Nanotech 950 milliamp hour that should be here soon. So, yeah, like I said, please subscribe and stay tuned for the videos of this. See ya.